and welcome to another video. My name is Sarah and this is Fill Your Cup where I share yoga and meditation videos. So today we're doing a little bit more of an intermediate practice. There will be a little bit of flow and some exercises and a lot of heart openers. So grab a mat, find a quiet place to sit, and I hope you enjoy. So we'll start sitting up in this one, rolling shoulders back in any comfortable seated position. Taking a moment just to take five deep breaths. As you're finishing up your breath, scan the body, notice any areas of soreness or tension. Scan the mind, notice your mental and emotional state. And then you can open the eyes, make your way to all fours. Taking cat cows first, warm up the spine, turn fingertips towards knees. This way we add in a wrist stretch. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, hunch under, tuck tailbone, press the mat away. Continue with your own breath. If you'd like to take any variations of the movement, just feel it out. Last one. And exhale, return to neutral, turn the hands forward. Make your way onto the fingertips, walk hands forward. Press the chest down for puppy pose. Reaching through fingertips, rotating inner elbow up towards the ceiling. Really active here. And release back up. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, press to down dog. Take any movements you would like here. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Rotate inner elbows forward, press the mat away. Stay on the balls of the feet here as you inhale, lower the hips down towards the wrists, press shoulder blades together to open up the chest. And then exhale, tuck tailbone, engage the core as you press back to plank pose. Inhale, exhale to down dog. Inhale forward once more. On the next inhale, again, slowly with control, lower hips down towards wrists, press shoulder blades together. Look up if you can. And then exhale, engage the core, lift the hips, plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Option to interlace fingers behind the back, let the hands fall with gravity. Inhale, release hands, roll all the way up. Reach arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, full breath in and out. Sun salutation A, inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, flat back. Step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. One full breath. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, to down dog. Full breath in and out. Inhale, look towards hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale the arms up. Not arms up. <laughs> Cobra or up dog. What am I doing? Exhale to down dog. Full breath. Inhale, look towards the hands. Step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Full breath in and out. Sun salutation B. Inhale, sit the hips back for chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through to the hands. Back heel down, inhale up, warrior one. And exhale, release hands down. Front foot steps back, three-legged or fold chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale to down dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale it through to the hands. Back heel down, inhale up. Exhale, release hands down. Front foot steps back, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale to down dog. Full breaths in and out. Press the mat away, soften the elbows. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees to chair pose once more. Exhale, up, hands to heart center, full breath in and out. Take your feet hip width distance apart here. Place hands on the backs of the hips. Roll shoulders back. Inhale, tuck tailbone. Lift the chest high, press the hips forward. Warming up the spine, it can be as far as you'd like here. Keep breathing. Slowly come up and release. Take a flat back as a counter pose. Release back up to standing. We'll take one more here. Hands on the backs of the hips. Tuck the tailbone, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the hips forward. Maybe coming in a little bit deeper this time. And slowly release back up. From here, inhale, hands to heart center. Right knee comes even with the hip out in front. On the next exhale, straighten the leg. Keep the 
the right foot active. On the exhale, shift the leg back behind, grab your ankle for dancer pose. Inhale, left arm up, exhale into the pose. If you'd like, you can flip your grip on the back foot. Take a full bound dancer here. You're welcome to use stretch if you're not quite there. With control, we slowly release the leg, making our way to warrior two. Go as slow as you need to, readjust when you get there. Find good grounding, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, release left hand down on the outside of left foot. Slowly see if you can bring left knee into chest as you open up to side plank. Any modifications for side plank are welcome here. Lift the knee as high as you can towards the ceiling. Option to straighten the leg. Knee back into chest, right hand comes down. Vinyasa or down dog, your choice. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Full breath, in and out. Inhale, left knee up in line with the hip. Flex the foot. Exhale, straighten the leg out. Release the leg back, grab the ankle for a dancer pose. Again, you can take your beginner dancer or you can flip your grip. Try going for a bound dancer. With control, release warrior two. reverse warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, release right hand down. See if again you can bring right knee into chest this time for side plank. Lift the knee as high as you can now. Option to straighten the leg. Right knee back into chest, left hand comes down, vinyasa or down dog. Full breaths in and out. Inhale, look towards the hand, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, again, right knee comes into chest. Focus on one point in front of you. Exhale, working with eagle pose, Garudasana. Cross right leg over left. Maybe walk your right foot behind the left calf, keeping hips squared forward. Opposite arm, so left arm over right. See if you can get your hands towards prayer, sit into pose, lift the arms.
place hands. From here, cross right ankle over left thigh for figure four pose, flexing right foot. Sitting down into the pose, stretching the hips. If you find your limber here, you're welcome to try Galavasana, the arm balance. You just make a point to balance the shin on the back of the upper arms. Keep your right foot active. Maybe left leg lifts. Maybe it straightens out behind. Or stay in your figure four. Inhale the standing right knee in the chest. Exhale, warrior three. Make a T with the body. Roll right hip down. And from here, working with balance, this time peel the right hip up. Balancing half moon. Opening up to the side. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Reach out, triangle pose. Lengthen the left side of your body. So reach ribs away from hips. Strong legs, inhale back up. Bend the front knee once more. Extend it side angle. So you're welcome to take the forearm on thigh version, above arm overhead, or you can take your hand down farther to the outside of the front leg. Or if you'd like, you are welcome to reach it around the inside and go for a bind. Up to you. Shooting energy from the outside of your back foot through the fingertips. Strong body. Inhale back up. And once more, balancing half moon, take off. And it is okay if it's not the most graceful thing. Every day it changes. Inhale, warrior two once more. Exhale, release hands down. Front foot steps back. Vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, look towards the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Full breath, in and out. From here, plant the right foot. This time, left leg over right for eagle pose. Sitting down into the pose, right arm over left. Lift the arms high. Release hands. Figure four pose, crossing left ankle over right thigh. And if you feel limber enough, you're welcome to go for that Galavasana pose. Make sure that as you try it, you lean forward enough to kick the leg back behind. Back to figure four if you were playing around. Inhale, left knee into chest. Exhale, warrior three. Here, open up, balancing half moon. 
Heel the left hip up towards the ceiling. Lift left leg high. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten front leg. Reach out. Triangle pose. Strong legs, inhale up, bend the front knee, extended side angle, any variation that you would like. Make sure if you have your hand on the outside of the right foot that you're pressing right knee into arm, activating the outer thigh. Inhale back up, exhale balancing half moon once more. Inhale warrior two, exhale release hands down, front foot steps back, vinyasa or down dog. Full breaths in and out. Take a moment to work with some handstand hops here. So staying in our down dog, walk the feet in once to make a shorter down dog. Look in between the hands, step left foot halfway forward or even a little bit less towards the hands. Now, you do not have to fly today at all. You are welcome to just take some baby hops, lifting up. Make sure that you're sending the hips, not the legs. Give it a couple tries, just see how you do. And release. You're welcome to come to a child's pose for a moment just to let the arms rest. And again, back up to your short down dog. This time right leg steps forward. And again, you can take out your gentle hops or try to get up, maybe catch some air time. Back to down dog from there. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, tip the toes over to the left. Option to flip your dog here. Lifting hips high. Inhale back to three legged dog. Exhale, step right foot forward. Back knee comes down. Untuck the toes. So if your back knee is uncomfortable, you can grab a blanket or fold your mat underneath it. From here, hands on the hips or the backs of the hips. Roll shoulders back, press hips down and forward. Lift the heart. And again, take a back bend. Keep breathing. Slowly release, fingertips come down. Just slightly ease off of your front leg for a moment. Bend the 
bend the front knee once more. Left hand comes to the hip or the back of the hip. Inhale, right arm up. Lift the chest. Exhale, reach back into your back bend once more. And slowly release. Ease off of the front foot just a little bit. Our last of our three back bends on this side. That's why we're taking breaks in between because it's very exhausting. So press hips back down and forward from here. Left hand comes to the back of the hip or eases a little bit lower down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach back. Now you can stay here, or if you'd like, tuck your back toes. Lift back knee. Slowly release, take back knee down. Untuck the toes. Right hand comes to right knee. Gently opening up to the right side for a twist. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. From here, you can either deepen by taking hands to prayer, left elbow on right thigh, or you are welcome to bind into your twisted crescent. Maybe lifting gaze towards ceiling. And release. Front foot steps back, vinyasa or down dog. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale the left leg up, bend the knee, tip the toes over to the right, open up the hips. Option to flip your dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot forward. Back knee comes down, untuck the toes. From here, hands on the hips or farther down. Press hips forward, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, back into your back bend. Slowly release, fingertips come down, ease off of the front leg. Always taking time to recover in between. Backbending classes are a little tricky because I think they mess with you psychologically because you have to prepare a lot and rest a lot. So bend the front knee and also sit in uncomfortable positions, so there's that. Slowly make your way up. Inhale, this time left arm lifts up. Lift the chest. Exhale, reach back. Really strong pose. The more you extend and strengthen, the deeper into the back bend you can go. Slowly release. Fingertips come down. Take a moment. If you ever find you're getting lightheaded, you can take a child's pose. Just focus on breathing. We have our last one to do, so come back up. Right hand on the back of the hip or walking its way down. Inhale, left arm up. Lift the chest, reach back. And then if you feel comfortable and would like to take it further, you can tuck the back toes, maybe lift the back knee and extend more. Mm. 
Release back knee down. Woo. <laughs> Come down onto fingertips. Take a moment. Plant right hand, left hand comes to left knee. Open up in a gentle twist. Back knee comes up and you can either take your hands to prayer in your twist or you can take it deeper into your bind. And release hands down. Front foot steps back. Vinyasa or down dog. Your choice. Making your way down onto your forearms, and you're always welcome to take your mat to a wall for these exercises. We'll take some hops here towards forearm stand. So make sure your elbows and hands are shoulder width distance apart. And wherever you are, just walk the feet up once. Maybe this is what you work on today. Or maybe right leg lifts, look in between the square or rectangle you made with the hands. Just some gentle hops. Try your left leg, always try both sides. Take a break if you need to. And then make your way to child's pose. Make your way onto your back. So from here we'll be working with wheel pose. Now if that is not in your practice after all that we just did, you're welcome to do a bridge pose lifting up or you could do bow pose if you want something more on your stomach. From here we'll take wheel pose. We're going to take five breaths, three rounds. So get ready. You know, you're welcome to take a bridge, then a wheel, then a bridge, or any combination. So when you are ready for your first one, place the hands down. Most important thing, check in with the feet, make sure they're facing straight forward. And then before you come up, tuck your tailbone so that the sacrum lifts off of the mat, and then lift up. Press head through the arms to engage the upper back. Five breaths. When you're done with your five breaths, you can slowly release down. Take a moment to breathe. Next one, five breaths. So again, place hands, tuck tailbone, lift the hips. You can even walk the feet in once if you'd like a deeper back bend for this round. When you're ready, come on up. When you're done with your five breaths, you can release down. Take a moment. And we 
we have one more to go, so go strong, whatever you want to do. Last one when you guys are ready, you can come on up, deep breaths. And release. Take your knees over to one side. And over to the other. We'll take 10 breaths in your inversion of choice. So you're welcome to do anything you would like. I'm going to be working with um, the L on the wall for handstands. You're welcome to also follow me as I break that down. So if you're doing that one, just try to measure the distance from your hips on the wall to your leg. That's where you place your hands. And then you will try to make a 90 degree angle with the body and breathe for 10 breaths. done with your 10 breaths, you can come down from whatever you are in. Maybe take a child's pose. And make your way out for our stretching portion. So the first one that we do will be standing splits on the wall. It's just a really, really nice exercise that's not regular splits. So you'll start in a down dog with heels on the wall. And then take the top of the right foot onto the wall. Now, if you're really tight in the hamstrings, you might step your feet a little bit farther back to lessen the stretch that you're getting. Otherwise, heel on wall, top of right foot comes up, and you can walk your hands in towards the wall to stretch the legs a little bit more. Go ahead and just take a forward fold. So for the next one, again, stand with heels on the wall. This time, left leg comes up and you can walk the hands in. And release. Once more, take a forward fold. And make your way onto your mat once more. Okay, so from here we'll work with Varasana. We've opened up the hip flexors and quads quite a bit. So, knees together. 
Heels go out to the sides and you'll sit back like so. Now, if this is too painful or really uncomfortable on the knees, you can also prop um, yourself up on like a pillow or a block or anything like that. Otherwise, you can walk the hands back. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone, knees stay together. Maybe lay all the way down. And we'll just take a few breaths here. From here you can release however you would like until you are laying down on your back. Cross right leg over left and then take legs over to the left, arms and cactus for a twist. Deep breaths, even if your cat suddenly attacks you. Bring the legs back up. Still keep right leg crossed over left. Grab the tops of the feet, pull them in towards the hips. And release. Left leg over right. Arms at cactus, take the legs over to the right side. Legs back to center, tops of the feet, pull them in towards the hips. From there, happy baby, so knees on the outsides of the torso, grab outsides of the feet, legs come up, heels towards the ceiling. Press your sacrum down towards the mat. Option to reach inside of the legs, grab the heels, straighten the legs, pressing them and the sacrum towards the mat. You can come back to your happy baby or if you would like another stretch, you can reach on the inside of the legs, grab the heels. Bring the feet towards the head, scooting them up on the shoulders. And one by one, release the legs for Shavasana. Palms face the ceiling, fingers curl, tuck shoulder blades underneath you to open up the airways. Know that everything you did today in class and ever in yoga is to get to the point of relaxation and release. If you have nowhere to be and nothing to do, I'll tell you when to come out.
bring awareness back to the body. Wiggle the fingers and toes. Inhale, 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 hold. And exhale it all out. <sighs> inhale, 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 hold. And again, exhale it all out. Big stretch with the arms. Bring the knees into the chest. Roll onto either your right or left side. And prop yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Notice any differences in how you feel physically and mentally. And just take a few moments to breathe. hands to heart center with gratitude. Namaste. And thank you so much for joining me for this class. Hopefully I will see you in the next video.